Hello gorgeous beauties, my name is Frank aka Dragonflow and this is my most perfect boy Ozzy the dog. He's just relaxing. Uh, so this is going to be a two part video. The first part is I'm going to explain the nine borderline personality disorder criterias. And in the second video I'm going to tell you and explain how my ex-girlfriend showed me or displayed these particular criterias. My ex-girlfriend was a high spectrum borderline so she actually scored nine on nine on the borderline checklist. So it's going to be a very nice case study. Okay, so the first one of uh, borderline symptoms is fear of abandonment. Now, we're all slightly afraid of abandonment, but most of us, you know, if our girlfriend, boyfriend doesn't call us for a few hours, we're not going to freak out. We're not expecting an immediate text, and we're not expecting things to go like us uh, completely sour because the person didn't answer the phone right away. With borderlines, it's very common that they're very clingy because they're afraid to lose you. And in the, it's also one of the reasons that they lo love bomb you. They want to keep you close. They want you to feel special during the love bombing phase. But a lot of it is because of this fear of abandonment. They don't want you to leave until, of course, it's over. And then they'll leave you and they'll sabotage it with you. So number two, unstable relationships. So it's very common for borderline uh, people, especially girls, that their relationships don't last more than six months. Uh, so basically what happens, as I mentioned a little bit, they love bomb you for a little while and they think that you're perfect and they act like you're perfect. And then when they're sort of done with you and they want to clean their hands of you, they're kind of like angry with you, always screaming, always picking fights. And so this creates a very unstable environment and therefore creates very unstable relationships. The third one is unclear or shifting self-image. So borderlines tend to be like social chameleons. So they need to adapt to the people around them so that they could manipulate them and get the resources. This is how sort of borderlines make a living, if you will. So because they're kind of playing the social chameleon, they never have a real sense of self, you know, like, Let's say you have X variable hobby, you, you like to have a certain type of job, you have a certain type of character, you see certain jokes, let's say you like to drink or you don't like to drink, uh, whatever. Borderlines will tend to love stuff relative to the people that they're around in that moment so that they could fit in and so that they could manipulate those particular people. Fourth one impulsive or destructive behaviors so basically uh, there's a lot of drug use in some borderlines a lot of alcohol use uh, a lot of even just kind of sabotaging friendships relationships ties with uh, with the family the my ex-girlfriend did a lot of drugs there was an instance we had like a bag of marijuana muffins and you're supposed to do a little bit and she did like half the bag so she was like mentally paralyzed uh, that night so that's impulsive self-destructive behavior the next one which is five is self-harm this is more like they cut they tend to cut their arms I met two girls that had borderlines and I saw quite a bit of cuts on their arm and I saw another girl online who had like cuts all over her chest and when I exchanged some words with her you saw that she was completely unstable and really fit into the borderline spectrum quite well so one of the reasons they cut is so that they don't have to be in their head and they could escape the emotions in their head and live in the injury so like they're they're more injury focused uh so you want to look out for that so uh number six extreme emotional swings so borderlines could be totally cool you're having a decent conversation everything is normal and next thing you know, you're in a fight and they have a chair, they're holding a chair and they want to throw the chair at you. So this happened to me. We'll talk about it a little bit more in the next video. So just look out for that. Like everything is stable, then you kind of trigger them with a little comment and the the retort isn't normal. You're just kind of like, you just break out in a fight and, and that's what happens. Seven, chronic feelings of emptiness, which I think... Uh, is related to a little bit of unclear uh, or shifting self-image. So chronic feeling of emptiness. In order to feel fulfilled with yourself, you have to have a sense of who your character is. In borderlines, they don't really have a sense of who this character is. And also, they have these chronic feelings of emptiness because they can't hold on to their relationships very long 
So they always feel abandoned and alone, even though they don't realize that they're a major cause of, this, of what caused this abandonment and being alone. So, but in a borderline, these feelings are amplified and they feel it to a higher degree. And oftentimes that's why uh, they start like kind of cutting themselves. They start doing drugs. They start doing stuff like that. So again, stuff uh, to look uh, out for. Eight, explosive anger. So in multiple occasions, uh, I was just trying to do something very calmly and just like outbursts of screaming and no negotiation, no communication, and really just kind of screaming all over the house. And uh, in some cases, in my case, there was no violence, but in some cases, violence. So there's that. Nine, feeling suspicious or out of touch with reality. So my ex-girlfriend would often find ways to quit jobs, which she didn't want to work anyways. But one of the things that would happen before she quit is she felt that everyone at the job site, whichever job site it was, was against her, trying to get her fired, talking bad about her, etc., etc. So if you're talking to someone and it's always somebody else's fault, somebody's against them, there's a whole group of people that are against them, uh, they're not mentally kind of uh, cohesive, in, in group scenarios without it being without and en without ending up being something that it's like oh my god they're trying to attack me they're trying to fire me they're trying to kill me etc etc well that's feeling of suspicious or out of touch with reality now in some cases people are going to be trying to screw you and trying to get what's yours so fair enough but if you're constantly changing group or the person that you know that has a borderline is constantly changing group and these things are always 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 coming up it could very well be a symptom of borderline personality disorder. So that's it. Please like and share the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, I will hit you with another video tomorrow or in a couple of days. And I love you very much. Namaste.